boots. There are so many fashion statements that have made their mark in every decade. Julia Grieve is here to take us through. And Jules, thank you for this outfit. What a feeling. <laughs> You look so good, Tracy. Honestly, you are such a trooper. You look like you just jumped off a flash dance, baby. Maniac, maniac. <laughs> Anyways, you look amazing. I just love it on you. It's so great. But honestly, Tracy, to look back through the decades and through the eras, through the lens of fashion, it's so fun because every decade has its little calling card, that little thing, that one trend that really set the decade apart. And I'm going to show show you how you can wear that today. Okay, let's get started with the 70s, shall we? Right? Okay, so the 70s, my favorite decade, of course, which is what I am wearing today. I have a little OG Charlie's Angels inspired outfit here. And Tracy, I have to let you know, when I was little, I used to play Charlie's Angels all the time. It was so easy to play. All you needed was your mom's heels, you needed her purse to carry your gun, of course, <laughs> and you needed two friends. No more than two. And I always had a little sister that wanted to play. So I used to make her be Charlie. You can sit at dad's desk and don't turn around, okay? <laughs> Such a mean sister. But honestly, the 70s had so many iconic things. You think of the big glasses from Jackie O. Of course, the number one that we are seeing all over the runways today is that wide leg bell bottom denim, which is what I am wearing today. It's so basically that anti skinny jean that we're seeing this summer, but it really is a true ode to the 70s. So that high waisted wide leg denim, I got these ones at H&M, so they are so current. You can wear them with a sandal, you can wear them with a little runner. You know, I've paired it with a cute little black blouse, added my little scarf, gave a little flare a fit, flip here and you know pulled off a look that does look very 70s but is still quite current for today. Absolutely and I love the 70s loved wearing my mom's heels her little booties loved it and I love the wide leg denim it's so good. <laughs> so let's jump forward 10 years who didn't love the 80s? Right? The 80s, man. I love it. The most conservative decade ever. <laughs> it was all about wholesome, right? You think of like the John Hughes films, all happy endings, you know, television, of course. We had the Family Ties was one of the number one shows. It was a Reagan era. And then, of course, the fashion muse of all time entered the place, Lady Diana Spencer. So, I mean, we had that really conservative look that also, okay, got to add, the number one calling card of the 1980s, and I think we can thank Oprah herself for the shoulder pad, mm -hmm. right? The bigger the shoulders, the better the outfit. And Tracy, that is no different than this summer's fashions. So right here you can see I'm wearing a sweatshirt that has that built-in shoulder pad. Absolutely love it. Again, it's from H&M, so it's brand new. It's current. It looks so great. Now I've paired it with a really fun little biker short. So this is from Prelove. These are our ta-da biker shorts. This is a very sort of Princess Diana look I've got rocking here. Mm -hmm. And then I've added it with that power blazer. So that blazer was what we totally saw in the 80s, that working girl, that sort of comeback of the feminist with the big shoulder pads. But putting this all together with a cute little current runner, you've got that 80s inspired look but my goodness, we are so on trend for this summer. That is so 1000% working girl. The big boxy V-shaped blazer with the running shoes and you're on your way to work. I love it and I love family ties. Love, love, love with Michael J. Fox, classic, loved that show. So um, let's talk about 90s. Because you're a 70s girl, but I love the 90s, man. That is my era. 90s was so good. What I love about it so much, especially when you look at fashion, is it's sort of like the anti of the 80s, mm -hmm. right? We were so conservative. We were so pretty. Then we just went grungy. Mm -hmm. it just went like the dirtier, the better. Mm -hmm. Enter Seattle. Like it was just this whole era. And that era of music, that grunge music, that really determined what fashion looked like. But then, Trace, you can spin in a little bit of like the supermodels right the 90s supermodel really had a look on what happened with the fashion 
but it also really was that grunge inspired throughout the entire decade even take it right up to friends if you truly look at what rachel and monica are wearing it is very grunge inspired so what i'm wearing right here trace is a perfectly grunge inspired current look this dress is so perfect i picked it up at marshall's but it's got that flower print from that sort of inspired 90s grunge pretty look with the black backdrop to the print which is so great it's the baby doll length mm -hmm. that was so perfect it has a nice little flow to it but what i've done trace is i've paired it of course with that military boot which i picked up at h&m and these are actually made out of recycled plastic hello thank you very much but pulled that all together add a little plaid shirt and nothing says i'm going to a nirvana concert without your little backpack <laughs> right the little the baby backpacks but what was so amazing about right? it was that and I tell my daughter this like we wore too much clothes in the 90s it wasn't a matter of put on more clothes it was like could you take off some layers I'd wear huge jeans that my dad could fit into maybe with a little baby tee but a big like flannel over top like we wore so much clothes and so much plaid oh my gosh okay so your last decade let's talk about the 2000s Jules what have you got for us all right the 2000s is probably the decade that we kind of irk and maybe not want to remember <laughs> some of the fashion trends from there but honestly the 2000s was such an amazing time it was like the introduction of reality television mm -hmm. right it was the beginning of social media hello i did have a myspace account just mm -hmm. saying but it was this idea that anybody could be a celebrity so that really changed and you know really had an impact on what trends came and what people wore so Tracy, the biggest trend this season in denim, this season in denim, I'm not sure how many people are actually wearing it, but it comes from the 2000s. It is the super low, yet lower, and even lower waisted jeans. Ew. <laughs> so you can see here, I've got a pair on right now, and I do think these ones are thrifted, and I think these might have been my jeans from 2002, uh, but it was that idea of really low-waisted denim, and then I've paired it with this shrunken sweater. Everything in 2000 was all about shrunken sweater. The little sweater I picked up at Winners, along with the little shrunken blazer, and again, it's that bright blue, that fuzzy pink shrunken sweater tucked into the low-waisted jeans but this was a very nice sorry 2000s look but Tracy everything besides the jeans is completely current so you can see that this is still trending today yeah you can't even find anything for teens now that isn't a crop or shrunken um, it's all over the place so thank you so much Jules that was so good that was a nice trip down memory 